All right, welcome to another Crossroads podcast. Let's go. I'm Jake Ryan, and this is my boy James the Fountain. How are we doing? Doing good. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, this is number 60. Last night I did a solo one. I haven't released yet, but how old are you today? 60. (laughs) Dang, man, you're looking good. Yeah, 31. 31? Well, you're younger than I thought you were. I thought you were going to be like 33. Well? Nope, not quite. How do you feel? You got gray hair? Yeah, dude, I got quite a bit. I mean, you can't really see it like on camera, but... You got your new job promotion. You've been stressing? Yeah, dude. Like new gray hair? I was thinking that same exact thing. (laughs) <laughs> um yeah. should i hit the intro thing yeah all right i'm gonna remember it. i'm gonna remember to hit the uh volume and the video this time Ooh. all right so first of all let me let me let me get it all set up i need to you know have myself a little bit better prepared but you know what by the I time mean, we get to podcast number 100 I might have this stuff figured out. Maybe. Hopefully. All right. Share sound. Okay. The intro. There's a place where deals are made. And the legends are born. You boys know what to do. Sure, sure, we know what to do. And that is not to let the devil know anything. It's so good, I had to listen to it again, bro. Right. All right. Now I can't get out of the screen Ooh. share. Dude, I love that. The audio. Mm-hmm. The Alan Watts. That's right. He's a trip, man. For sure. Um. Yeah, that's not the first time I've sampled him. Are you putting him into some of your music? Um. I put him in... <clears throat> One of Anthony's songs. I can't remember which one. I don't think I... Well, I probably heard it, but didn't really notice. Oh, wait, was um, it newer? No, not not real new. It was on one of the projects that we did together. From Pillar um, to Post? <clears throat> I think it might have been on the first one. Pulling Teeth? Wisdom Teeth. Wisdom Teeth. Mm-hmm. What even inspired the name of that album? He just needed to get his wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it marks that phase of life, that chapter. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what he was going for. What was the pillar to post thing? I don't even know what that means. From pillar to from pillar to post, I guess it's something about like... Um, it's, it was like a form of punishment back in the day, and they would just bring you, like, kind of like when you're being, like, tied to a post, you know, and they'd tie you there and then bring you to the, make you stand on the pillar and just back and forth and just kind of, like, aimlessly doing nothing, you know. Something like that. I think that he, he explained it something like that, but it's kind of just hmm. like... Um, Going through the motions, I guess. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You've been working on any of your own music, or do you have a project in mind for yourself at all? I'm just curious. Um, Yeah, I don't like to talk about that stuff. Oh, it's all under wraps. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Said, Dude, I um, can't wait. He said the only thing... No, I've, I've actually taken like a, quite a big break. I just today actually opened up Free Loops and was fucking around. Nice. But <clears throat> it's good to take breaks, recharge. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been like 
focused on a bunch of life shit, you know, and just time and energy. Well, you've been doing good. Job promotion. Got the new car. How's the new car? Your car's good. It's all right, man. It's all right. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool. Like, it's a new car, you know, so that's always so. <clears throat> Wait. But my, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to try to refinance here in a few months. Just let mm-hmm. my, my credit build up a little more, you know. And right. I'm not getting a good deal. It's... Oh, the amount you're paying? Yeah, just the the interest rate is is super high. I mean, I'll pay it for a few months and just see what I can do. But I got you in the vehicle and rolling, and then yeah, and it's it. Honestly, I'm I'm looking at it as like obviously I need a car, you know. But um, I'm looking at it as a tool to build my credit too, you know. Yeah, true that. So, <clears throat> well, I mean, making progress. Yep. But yo, I need to hit a fan on. I'm like so hot in here. Yeah. So, hold on a sec. Got the heat wave. Yeah. It has it been hot in your area? Fuck yeah, dude! It's like it's 95 right now. Dude, yeah. This heat wave. You know, I love it, but I'm like, I, you know, I could go for a good, like, just 75, 80 degrees. For sure. That's perfect. Yeah. I, although, I'm a big fan of 98 degrees. Mm-hmm. Nick Lachey. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> just, That's my uh, boy. Oh, uh, hell Yeah. I can't even remember a 98 Degrees song. I was just going to say that. I was a bigger fan of NSYNC. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the other day about how when I was like, man, I was super young. I must have been seven or something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, had this girlfriend at school, you know, and I was like, sad because she wouldn't talk to me or something Mm. (laughs) so i was listening to this i think it was in sync um but it was like that quit playing games with my heart song oh yeah (laughs) and i was just like listening to i was listening to that song like on repeat like just really trying to be sad about my girlfriend (laughs) dude for real i don't know what it is uh like I have this one song called, um, I think I might have even made an album about it, but I want to redo it all. Sometimes being sad makes me happy. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, but sometimes I'm like, I just want to wallow in my own sadness, okay? Well, I, I think it's just like you want to be able to feel what you're feeling without, like, you know, Anyone, denying it well yeah well, denying it but also anyone around you like that's the thing about it it's like you don't want to affect others and like bring other people down and shit but at True the that. same time it's like you just want to feel those feelings and move through them and shit because but yeah there is, there is that sort of like indulgence too where people just like especially like with anger you know people get mad and they they feel like they're right about something like Mm -hmm. righteous anger i definitely know what that is like like people love that shit dude oh dude especially things like that i can't control first of all i couldn't control my anger Mm -hmm. i get high off of it you know and be like yeah Uh, super saiyan no (laughs) Uh, but it's like, um, I don't know what it was about the anger that I think going Super Saiyan like distracted me. I was thinking about (laughs) it though when I was, uh, actually in line today getting my prescription Mm -hmm. at Walmart. Yeah. 
get my mood stabilizer, mm-hmm. which has definitely been helping me with like not getting crazy angry or super sad. Yeah. Um, I can just be like, yo, I'm level. And what I was saying was the things about things are out of my power. I'm like, like the government. What the hell am I gonna do? The government's pissed me off. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, or uh, yeah. For sure. It's like the social justice warrior stuff, where it's like I don't know. You can try to rally a bunch of people, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I mean, even even shit that you should be mad about, you know, like you're totally justified in being mad about that thing. It's still like you still want to be able to control yourself, you know, and like because people will say some wild shit and do some wild shit just in the name of like justice or whatever, you know, like, I mean, right. if you, <clears throat> you think about it, like it's totally cool to kill someone if they've done something bad enough. Oh, right. Yeah. And even like, I kind of agree with that in a way, like, you know, like if someone comes in and like whatever tries to shoot up your neighborhood hood or something or just anything like that, like someone plowing through protesters or someone like, of course, people are going to fucking try to like kill that person, basically, you know? Yeah, if they're like a threat. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. if they've already done the damage. And it's kind of weird, too, when people don't get like the just like uh like you're like i think that person should be dead mm-hmm. but they just get like oh they're just locked up for like five years right and you're like what and they're just going back out there into society like yep. i don't know like the uh the reform of like yo we can change a person kind of like clockwork orange right you know, we're like, oh, he's such a bad person that we're just going to put him through this program and rewire the brain. Mm-hmm. I do believe that stuff actually could work. Yeah, I don't know. Somewhat. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's possible that, that would probably be part of it, whatever their whole, like, you know, relearning program is. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, they might be like, yo, this is easy. Like, you just talk to a therapist, you read some books, you go to a few meetings. Or they're like, no, we're going to strap you into this machine, hook these things up to your brain. You're going to watch these flashing visuals. Yeah. Or, I don't know, dude. Um, I was watching a Netflix show about mm-hmm. cults you know i have fascination with cults what do you mean you know different cults out oh. there oh <laughs> I, I thought you meant cults like the, like the horse <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah <laughs> i i am fascinated with cults actually it's my favorite football I'm, team i'm obsessed with baby horses dude somebody asked yeah. me that one time about this horseshoe oh, yeah. tattoo right. they're like oh you're a colts fan i'm like no you're like yeah but i'm also a redskins fan yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like damn you have to be a pretty hardcore like fan of your team to like yo i'm gonna get la lakers like tattooed above my eyebrow yep. for sure dude for i sure. mean if you're like that hardcore get the number 23 <laughs> right Hey Jordan, I was wondering. I see a picture back there. Which one? What is that portrait of? Yeah, this one. Yeah. It's Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Is it his uh, mugshot? Yeah, it's autographed too. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was bought with an autograph on it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I didn't get it autographed. Wait, like it's his actual autograph on there? Mm-hmm. 
What? Was well, somebody gifted you? Yeah. Bro. That For is so sure. rad. <clears throat> it's dope, dude. I love it. Snoop Dog, not Snoop Lion. I need Lion. a better frame for it. I mean, you can go online and buy it, buy the shit. Like, <clears throat> I know, um, but it's not as cool, right? It's it's kind of cool. Like, if especially if you gift this to someone, then they'll think it's super dope. You know, they don't have to know like the Actually, whole process right. of it. You're totally right. And it, it's just super, <clears throat> like you could it's just like having a picture of them on the wall. It's like that's not it's not real. You know, it's just ink on paper, but. It, you like the person enough, you know? It technically does give it more value. For sure, yeah. Maybe fi like monetary value or even just like that whole like value that we perceive. I mean, imagine if someone just gifted me a picture of Snoop. Like with that, <laughs> no autograph. Yeah, true. And, hey, put this on your wall. Yeah, true that. <clears throat> Snoop Lion. But, uh... Mm -hmm. That was a good documentary. But I was talking about the f documentary of this cult, Wild Wild mm -hmm. Country. Have you heard of it? Oh, I, I watched it. That shit is crazy, dude. Oh, man. I got to the second second episode, and I had to turn it off last night. It got so intense, and I was, like, getting tired. Mm -hmm. When there was all the, like, naked people, like, freaking out and crying and screaming and, like, I was like, oh my god, this is going to give me nightmares. I got to go to fucking it does. It watch some crazy, Care Bears. <laughs> it's I had, it's crazy that that happened and like, I never heard of that shit. People Dude, don't talk about that, really. Yeah, it's, um, it's crazy how it was like just that little small town. And then all of a sudden. I mean, I don't, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but yeah, it was like just what they what they did was fucking nuts but. i'm get don't ruin it no i won't i won't it's i'm getting to the messed up part like at first it looks all like oh yeah this just seems okay like you know they seem to be on this like spiritual quest of like hey we're gonna be peace love and <clears throat> it's just crazy how all cults they they start out like that you know and just the bigger they get, no matter what, it turns into some well, crit like some crazy, crazy shit. But it <clears throat> to me, it just <clears throat> makes me think of any really big organization like that. Mm -hmm. Like anything that's involved with society, not just like a business or a corporation, but anything that has like you know, like churches and government shit like that well what's kind of fascinating it's kind of one of those things like if you go from the micro to the macro where it's like something might be like a thought in somebody's head right like this leader of the cult or whoever it spawns from they're like i'm gonna start this organization get things going and it could start with like one person and then it just builds and builds. And then it just seems like there's almost like this bigger like force behind it. Mm -hmm. That's like a force beyond the humans. Where it's, I don't know what the energy or spirit behind it is, but. I think it is something like that. Like whatever happens when people get together, that is like, it can't happen when you're just individuals by yourself you know um something something happens though like that that collective everyone's brains kind of being on the same mm. wavelength you know yeah like yeah. they would do the whole a meditation where everybody's like on the same wavelength it might be silence then you kind of tap into this like like you say the collective subconscious or whatever mm -hmm. and or even like at a concert. Yeah. Like you think of like a Metallica concert. Mm -hmm. Or something. It's just like, man, that central 
force of like, all the music is coming from here, but it puts everybody on that <clears throat> same wavelength. I think, I think there's something, there's something to it though, because I think people are easier to influence when they're in a group, you know? Mm. And I don't know, I don't know how true it is, but I heard that um, your IQ drops when you're around like a certain amount of people. Hmm. Like once you get around another person and it's like two or three or four people, your IQ goes down <laughs> just to like <clears throat> kind of match the average of the group. You know? Oh, that makes sense. Like the influence of each other. Yeah, and I, I think that that's just so we can work together in groups, you know, like we're social animals, so like that's just a function of us being able to work together. But I feel like it also makes it, like I said, easier to control groups too, you know. True. That makes me think I missed my men's group today of like uh, for like sobriety. Mm -hmm. I'm not obligated to go, but I like to go like Saturday mornings and I just missed the past couple of weeks. I'm like, Oh man, I feel mm. bad if I miss. Cause I'm like, it really actually means a lot to me. And it's one of those things like surrounding yourself with good people yep. and people that you can like relate to, or, or maybe people that are trying to make better changes in their life. Well, you recently hit a year, right? A sobriety. Mm-hmm congratulations bro oh yeah dude pretty cool how's it feel feels good man i got a lot more money fucking health is way better for sure it's yeah feeling better you know happier for sure man i actually i shouldn't worry a lot but i do I just think about people I really care about, like, you know, you or some of my other family and friends sometimes that I'm like, man, I know what it's like for me to get into overindulgence that can have a negative result. And I just think about other people too. And I'm like, oh man, when I see them come out of it and become like so much better, and I'm like, uh, it's crazy how mm -hmm. one choice, I don't know. For sure. Like, I don't know what it is about having one drink. It, the weirdest thing is I'll be like, uh, maybe I'll have one drink. And then it's uh, fucking, everything goes out the window. I'm like, I don't care about nothing now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of like, yeah, that's the problem with it, for sure. The nature of the beast or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably the main reason anyone ha really has to quit, you know, is because one is too many and what what's the saying? One One's too many and two's not enough? Like <laughs> I never heard that one, but that's a good one. It sh it oh, shit. Put Just that in a song. Oh, yeah. My, uh, all right yeah dude bluetooth connection was going out mm -hmm. yeah dude bluetooth is awesome i don't know my phone sometimes my little airbud well it's mm -hmm. not really airbuds they're like tizumi pro buds or something right they're like the cheap AirPods. um what it's really giving me this 10 minute thing like we're running out of time here again soon yeah, pay up dude it did this to us once before mm -hmm. well i don't know i guess should we just do we make it a shorter one or do we do it again here in a minute i mean i feel like we just got got started dude me too <clears throat> uh what are they doing to us i dude i knew it was gonna do something like that to me and i'm like dude i ain't having it right because there's only two of us. What What did you have to do last time? I had to upgrade, but you're not supposed to upgrade. You don't need to if there's only two people talking at a time. What the hell? 
Yeah, it's <clears throat> silly. But um, well, I guess we'll chat for a few more minutes, and then I'll send you another link. Where? Um. Eight minutes. The countdown has begun. Right. They're, they're like, dude, this, this is too powerful. This oh, chat. Guys, it's too real, guys. Cut it off. It's all. too real. We can't let this information out. They know yep. the truth. <laughs> all right, we got to get out all the conspiracies in eight and a half minutes. It's the government, Go. all the reptilian yep. aliens. They run the Bluetooth. They're hacking you, bro. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> no, they hacked my brain and they made me fidget with the fucking case. And dude, I was thinking that the other day. Like, laser beam. Oh, yeah, dude. My son was saying, my eyes, I got these new glasses. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Dad, it looks like you got like laser beams coming out of your eyes. Right. I'm like, ah, oh, it's just like the reflection of the lights. He's like, no, literally, you got laser beams. Dude, maybe I do have laser beam eyes in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I want to get laser eye surgery. LASIK? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. You do wear glasses or contacts, don't you? I wear glasses not as much as I should. You have contacts? I, what? No. no. I'm just. My vision isn't that bad. I just can't, you know, shit, is, it's just slightly blurry. Um, so I could read, like, road signs good enough and shit, but, yeah, mm. dude, it's getting there. I can't read road signs. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. You got to uh, be able to read those. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, nearsighted, I guess. Mm. I asked the doctor about it, and he's like, your uh, sight is actually getting better. And I was like, Once. what, dude? I don't think so. I feel like it's getting worse. <laughs> so That's crazy. Yeah, man. I was trying to see if I was able to just, like, upgrade my plan. But I'm like, dude, you know what? You guys are trying to reel me in. They're trying to scam me, bro. <laughs> That's it. We're switching to fucking... What's the other one? Streamlabs or something? Skype. Skype. That's how I, we started, right? What? Didn't we start with Skype? We did, yeah. Maybe Skype's the way to go. Maybe Zoom is ran by the CIA. Yep, it's been uh, co-opted. Compromised. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I was thinking this the other day, though. Some of my homies were paying their taxes, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't might have been quarterly taxes or whatever and it's like oh man I have to pay all this taxes I don't want to but I need to you know like tens of thousands yeah and it's like yeah but do you I don't know who the IRS is like that's the fucking they're a gang bro they'll straight throw you in prison for real dude <laughs> and it's just funny how like I can't put like a face to them so I imagine them as this like men in black type of organization. For real. Where it's like, I don't know, dude. Like <sighs> I started thinking, I was like, what if they were actually like aliens? <laughs> dude. What? Yeah. What if? Yeah. Like, you know, they could just, I don't know. They're that scary. It's like, oh no. I didn't pay my taxes. The IRS showed up and they're gonna take my house, my truck, uh, take me yeah. to jail, or whatever. You know. That's so crazy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's a conspiracy, right? People are like, the government is not human. I believe it. Dude, yeah. Some of the people that do that messed up stuff. I heard this theory the other day that. My TikTok, you know, was feeding me. It was like saying how people are like, oh, everybody's obsessed with these reptilian shapeshifters that run the world. Um, but somebody was talking about it more as like the jinn. Have you heard of the jinn? Mm hmm. So, the genie? Yeah, the genies. And that's what they were saying. They're like, well, it's not really the, they're not like 
the people aren't really reptilian shapeshifters. They're just being controlled by this evil spirit or something. Right. Kind of like the cults. <clears throat> For sure. Yeah, like... Yeah, that just that mob mentality makes people do crazy shit. Yeah, it's what's really interesting to me is say like yoga or meditation, you know? Mm-hmm. How they get into and I've gotten into this stuff like the kundalini, like the this like serpent thing, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd hear different like gurus or even like Christian people say things like don't like don't awaken those things because they're evil right right or they'd be like yoga's evil that's the Mm. devil's tool (laughs) right i'm like i I don't know i i really don't know i like the idea of just being like i need to stretch my body (laughs) yeah but for sure you do some yoga Ever? I don't I don't do yoga, but I I do mad stretches all the time. Just because yeah. I have to. Like I'm just you know always sore and shit and trying to get this and get that. <clears throat> Working. Physical work. Yeah. Just wake up just in your life. muscles. Or... Just life, man. Gravity. <laughs> Dude, it's just gravity. Oh, dude, that force of gravity on us, just weighing us down, man. I mean, literally, though, that lower back pressure, you know, like. Dude. It just comes with age and just that it accumulates over time, you know, and you start to have to really try to get at it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I have a couple more minutes before this thing shuts us down, but. Oh, yeah. So, interesting thing. Uh, my wife's been going through these things. Well, they do a test to see there's like a genetic cancer DNA strain that runs in her family. Mm -hmm. So they do like the preemptive testing and she came up like 87% positive that she could get this cancer. Right. So we're doing like the preventative stuff, Mm -hmm. uh, which is basically going to have to be like a double mastectomy, hysterectomy, which is like take out your ovaries and take out your breasts Mm -hmm. and then replace them like with implants Mm -hmm. or you could like not replace them and just get like prosthetic thing you wear right and you know so of course she's like well i think i'm gonna get smaller implants i'm like what Mm -hmm. (laughs) i was thinking bigger (laughs) no (laughs) (laughs) and of course she's like well my back like it hurts my back just Mm -hmm. having like big old titties and you know i was like you ever see the lady that like smash watermelons with her boobs oh yeah (laughs) Mm -hmm. shit's nuts i know i don't know there's a point where you know where it's like ah too big is too big you know for sure but apparently this uh, podcast got, is too big. We got less than one minute. Dude. They don't they don't show us the seconds though, so we don't even know. <laughs> They're just gonna shut us down. Yep. Well, I'm gonna wait till they shut us down and I'll just send you another link. Word. And or maybe I'll shut her down. But I've never seen it just shut me down. So I kinda wanna see.